Hello, hello, and welcome back to another lesson. Now, this one is going out for Mr. Martin Steiger, um, Patreon extraordinaire, been with us since the very beginning, and uh, he's got some great taste in music. Great taste in music. And Martin wanted uh, Pearl Jam's Slice of Hand. Now, this isn't a terribly difficult one, so what I've done is, and actually the album version, it's quite difficult to hear what's going on. So um, once you listen to the live stuff, can really hear more clearly what's happening. So I'll show you the intro of how they play it on the album because they don't really do that live. And then thereafter, I'm gonna show you predominantly Stone's parts. In fact, I think it's just Stone's parts. Mike's parts at the beginning of house. And um, that's how they play this live. But the weirdest bit about it is the B string is gonna be tuned to A. So you've got E, A, D, G. A E Now the only real reason that is in play is because um, Stone's part in the verse just basically banks everything around that um, that open A, right? So why they did that, I don't know. It's just another one of Stone's takes on some, you know, cool chord phrasing, I guess. So another thing you need to know is that this is in 5-4, but the chorus is in 4-4. Four, four. So the verse parts and the intro parts uh, and the solo, actually, is all in 5-4. So let me put these bad boys in. Now, I actually broke my old headphones, if you can believe that, because being the useless klutz that I am, uh, I managed to um, pull my laptop off the off the table and it landed literally on the headphone jack. The jack in the laptop's fine, so it just means that my my trusty headphones, these bad boys, these bad boys are just, uh, I know more, so I need to get some new ones. So I'm using these for now. These are, these are literally cheap as chips, but they're not the most comfy. So anyway, headphone issues aside, here is the tone that we're going for, right? When it's, um, uh, with the volume up full, That's what it sounds like. So I'm using the Hampstead Odyssey for this. It's a lovely little tone. Fairly sort of medium-ish overdrive setting. But what you're going to want to do for the verse is roll the volume right back. And this is what Stone does, you hear, you hear that as he, he's either using a volume pedal, he does have a volume pedal on his board, right? So he's probably doing that rather than um, his, you know, volume control on his guitar. Um, and then you're into, into the, the chorus riff, right? So that is how I'm getting the live tone. Now on the album, you can't really hear what much of what's going on. It's very muddy in terms of um, being able to pick out the guitar. So I've gone for the live one. Martin loves a live, live version anyway. So I'm sure you won't mind me going through that. So on with the riffs. So for the bit at the beginning, I don't count the first two beats. I count the last three and I play one, two, three, one, two, three. Two, three, like that, right? When I come to Stone's part, I actually count just two extra beats at the end, right? Because his phrase is slightly longer. So that would go like this. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Now I'm obviously counting five with my with my leg as well, right, to keep myself in time. But um, Jeff's bass does do a bit at the end of each phrase, right? So that's the bit that I like to count. So one, two, one, two, right? So that, um, that for me helps to tie it all together. Um, don't know if that works for you. It may not, but, um, if it does, then you're most welcome. So the intro phrase is just this. after you are going to add one extra bar okay so it goes but 
it's super, I mean, it's probably not even played that fully. It's probably just something similar to that, right? Um, but I've put it out there for you. So I'm not gonna go through it too much because it's exactly the same as what we're gonna play for Stone's part, except it's just an octave up, right? So Stone's part in full. background okay so seven five seven from the a string and all but the last one of these phrases ends with the open a which is the b string tuned down right then you're gonna play five four six two zero two the only um, bit to be aware of is there's I think that's a slide or from the fourth fret to the fifth. All right, so that's that bit. And then going into the chorus, you're gonna hear this. into that right so that's pretty straightforward the you're gonna play this three times which is just uh, an E power chord for that rhythm and then you're gonna play the open D with the fourth fret on the G from the fourth to the second you could actually add the second fret on the B, or what is now the A string. If you wanted to fat that up a bit. I'm not exactly sure what Stone does there, but I can definitely hear that. One of his signature moves, that. Um, so, that's that for three times, then you go to the A. And then you're gonna to go to the G, but you're always gonna be muting the um, A string, right? Um, and he plays this kind of differently each time, but one of the things you could play is this. So with your first finger on the second fret on the D. could do that right with that so play that with the um, third fret G in the bass like that um, and that's it and um, I think the first time it goes into the uh, it goes straight back into into that bit um, I think the second and third time around the chorus it adds another um, time round so you go is you just staying on the A uh, chord okay and then there's a like a solo break um, and through that Stone just plays a variation on the theme and you're going to use uh, these two chord shapes pretty straightforward it's 12 10 12 uh, roots always on the A for these uh, 10 9 11 7 5 7 5 4 6 and that is the beginning of the uh, first riff, right? So it goes like this. That's it. 
and then you're back into and that friends is how you play sleight of hand live and s sort of album version so i hope you all enjoyed that martin i hope that um ticked all the boxes for you as well and thanks again for all your support mate massively appreciate it as ever you're very very kind indeed cheers everyone see you soon bye